The second book in Disney's all-new Kingdom Keepers Inheritance Trilogy is out today. Yeah, a new generation of Kingdom Keepers must save the Disney parks from destruction. From Epcot to Disneyland to Disneyland Paris, it's the ultimate battle between good and evil. And joining us now to talk more about the new installment is New York Times best-selling author <laughs> Ridley Pearson. Mr. Pearson, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Doing great. Thanks for having me. We're so glad you could be here with us. I'm excited to hear about this. Tell us more about the Kingdom Keepers, especially for the viewers who might not be familiar with this fun series. Well, how dare them? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? The Kingdom Keepers <laughs> take place um, inside the Disney parks, often after dark. So you have to picture yourself as a 9-year-old or a 15-year-old or a 45-year-old, and you're in the Disney parks and you're all alone, and the music isn't on, and there are no people in there, and it's dark, and you realize that all the Disney characters, while we're asleep, are alive, oh. and they are up to no good. <laughs> and so. Disney Inheritance moves into the future. It's set in 2040, so we have flying cars, and we have a very, very hip fairy godmother, and a demented chemist, and the kids have to stop Ursula from getting hold of Walt Disney's magic ink. So um, we know you talked about um, Ursula, the villain aspect of this. What can fans expect from that during this installment? Well, it's, it's high adventure and it focuses a lot on friendship and the fact that we do better working as a team as you two do on your show, um, <laughs> than when we try to do things alone. So the, the, the object is to have a book that you can't put down and that takes you places into the Disney parks you've never been because they've allowed me in to see them and they don't allow you. <laughs> and um, that, you know, the, the idea of teamwork prevails and, and good triumphs over evil. You know, Disney, the, the company as a whole, all of its parks, they mean so much to so many. So why did you choose to set the Kingdom Keeper series in such a beloved locale? I just got the, I got the opportunity of a lifetime. They asked me, I, I also write adult thrillers, murder mysteries and international thrillers for adults. Ooh. But Disney asked me if I could come up with a story set inside their theme parks that would be adventurous but not dangerous and would be interesting to young readers. And it took me five outlines of submissions to finally get their attorneys to agree to let me write these books. But I've had this opportunity to go behind the scenes 30 times, uh, go into the attractions when they're shut down, the lights are off, they're under emergency lighting, take scrupulous notes, they turn the ride on for me, I ride it five or ten times, and then I just put these kids into the same experiences that I've had, which are often terrifying, I have to say. Being in the haunted mansion when no one's in there and the lights are off is, is one of the scariest things you'll do. Yeah, I think that in-person research, does that uh, cause a little bit of a hazard for you? Is that a hazard of the job? <laughs> Well, only mentally and emotionally. <laughs> I once was in, in It's a Small World, and all the dolls were shut off, and I saw two of them move, and I'm still in therapy over Ooh, that. I, bet. I mean, it just, it absolutely terrified me, and I wrote a chapter about the dolls breaking off the platform and attaching, att attacking the kids. Um, yeah, it's just, it's been such a wonderful thing to do and a wonderful ride for me and the readers. Uh, well, I'm glad you've enjoyed it as much as the viewers are going to enjoy it. So where can they go grab a copy and even keep up with you and your future works? Your independent bookstore, your chain stores. I'm all over social media. I have a website, RidleyPearson.com. Um, I've just had such a fun career. I've written 62 books. And uh, Inheritance, has, this, this series has been so much fun. You can read them in any order you want. Uh, you don't have to read them in order. They stand alone. And I hope everyone has as much fun reading them as I have had writing them. I love that. Not many people get to have fun doing their job. So I love when we get to talk to somebody who does. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'm blessed. We're not the only one. We're ones. not alone. <laughs> Thank you for being here with us this morning. <laughs>